Campers today will cover the pup tent so that the pup tent can cover us. <laughs> That's a little camping joke. Very little. The secret, as in so many things in life, is paying attention to details. For example, is the angle of the roof just right? Are the tent stakes driven to the proper depth? Is the flap tight enough to keep out large animals? Whoa! Uh, speaking of large animals, reminds me of a story. It all started the day we were getting ready for the big moonlight hayride. Uh, a horse and wagon? How totally primitive. Why can't we ride in a chauffeur-driven limo like ordinary people? Uh, and what about all that hay? Just thinking about it makes me sneeze. Okay, campers, we got the horse, we got the wagon, now all we need is the hay! Huh? Suddenly there she was, Miss Sweetingham, the camp counselor of my dreams. The very sight of her hit me like a ton of... <laughs> well, John, you sure blew that opportunity. What opportunity? To invite Miss Sweetingham to the hay ride tonight. Think about it. A romantic moon, a sky full of stars. Me? Invite Miss Sweetingham? Oh, I, I, I couldn't. No way. No. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Of course you can, John. Right. And don't be intimidated by the fact that she looks like an absolute goddess. You're right. I will ask her. The very next time I happen to bump into her, uh, which could be in a month or two. Good, because here she comes again. No, no, wait, wait! Steady, dear. Easy now. There. Our little love nest is now finished. Whoa! It's finished all right. Oh, why, that feather-headed bird brains. Now, dear, don't get excited. You're expecting an egg. Don't worry. I'll be careful. I just want to fix his goose. John, are you all right? I, I'm, I'm not sure, Robin. Robin! Robin, are you all right? Uh, I think I sprained my wrist. Ah, he's gonna wait for me! Help! The unthinkable had happened. The shock of falling had suddenly made Robin afraid of animals. Luckily, we had someone medically trained to turn to. Nurse Molly. Oh, well, John, her sprained wrist is the least of it. The important thing is to help Robin regain her confidence. Her confidence? You know, like some people are confidence to invite other people on a hayride. Or, um, we, we can discuss that later. <laughs> right now, we've got to cure Robin of her fear of animals. Luckily, I've been reading a book on hypnosis. Now, Robin, I want you to concentrate on this nice, shiny locket. Hi hypnotize me? It's perfectly safe, Robin. It won't hurt a bit. That's right. And to prove it, I'll demonstrate on John. Exactly. Hypnotize <laughs> me? Well, I don't know about that. I, just, I mean, I'm pretty strong-minded, and uh, and we all know you can't hypnotize a strong-minded. You are going to sleep. Yes, Nurse Molly. Whenever you hear a whistle for one full minute, you'll be instantly transformed into someone with incredible confidence. Incredible confidence. And now to demonstrate. Nurse Molly, suddenly I feel this wave of incredible confidence. Oh, you do? Yes. In fact, it's given me the nerve to ask you something. Oh, oh, John, ask away. Could you? I mean, would you? <laughs> yes. Move aside so I can gracefully leap out the window and invite Miss Sweetingham to the hayride. Isn't she adorable? 
You all, Miss Swittingham? It really does work. Yes, it does. <sighs> Unfortunately. You all, Miss Swittingham? Where are you? I was determined to find my lady love. In a treat? Man, you really had gone deep over her. How totally weird. John's actually climbing a tree. Nurse Molly hypnotized him into thinking he's some kind of superhero. Yeah, and I think I know which one. Thanks to the hypnotism, I thought I was king of the jungle. But a leopard skin? Isn't that kind of cool? There, is that better? Lots. Stripes are a lot more flattering on you. There go, Miss Sweetingham. Oh! Just then, the minute was up. Where am I? How did I get here? Whoa! 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 Keep practicing, John. You'll get the swing of it. Suddenly, Robin's voice rang out. She was in some kind of trouble. Help! Stay away from me! Leave me alone! Superhero? Definitely not, but you've given me an idea. It was a whistle. My cue to turn into my super confident alter ego. Stand aside, campers. This dashing hero has to dash. Oh, wow. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> the rush of self confidence has turned me into Indiana Jones. <laughs> Robin, are you okay? Uh, I feel like I just went through the spin cycle. Suddenly, my minute was up. Whoa, 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 whoa. How, how did I get here? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Robin. This can't go on. You gotta get over your fear of animals. Okay, I promise. If you'll get over your fear of inviting Miss Sweetingham to the hayride. Uh, invite Miss M M M M Miss Sweetingham? The whole idea gave me a sinking feeling. <laughs> She is. Make your move. It's no use. I'll never be able to impress her. If you mean with all that phony macho man stuff, you're right. But if she saw the real you, she would be impressed. The real me? Sure. Being a sensitive guy's in this year. You're right. I'm going to invite Miss Sweetingham to the hayride as myself. You, Miss Sweetingham. What's this? It's a note. To whom it may concern. Gone home for the weekend to visit her boyfriend. It was a perfect night for a hayride, and the campers were having a terrific time. All except maybe Iggy. Oh, where are the seatbelts on this thing? And must be trapped so fast. Ah, ah, oh, hear that? <laughs> Iggy sneezing. You see, you do need the nerves on this hayride. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Hold on. What kind of ending is this? You never solved Robin's hang-up. She's still afraid of animals. Don't rush me. I'm getting to that now. You see, suddenly that same angry Blue Jay swooped down on poor Hercules again, scaring the life out of him. We were headed straight for Spasm Chasm with no way of stopping. Oh, 
wonderful. Robin has lost her fear of animals, and you and I are here together under the moonlight. <laughs> yes, we certainly are. <laughs> yeah, I just remembered I left the water in the lake running, and I gotta get going. Uh, John, you're sly devil. <laughs> the lake of moonlight. <laughs> Campers, today I'll show you the three basic steps of archery. One, face the target and draw back on the bowstring like this. Two, take careful aim and let fly like this. Three, make up some excuse how that could happen. You know, like I, I, I was demonstrating what can happen if you pinch the arrow, you know, too tight. <laughs> That's exactly what I was doing. Speaking of targets, I remember the time Camp Candy was the target of a gigantic hoax. I was telling my group of campers about a local legend. They say it's an actual fountain of youth, and that it's somewhere right around here. A fountain of youth? Like you drink the water and grow young again? That's right, Rick. Oh, quick! Tell me where it is. I think I see a few wrinkles. No one knows its exact location, Vanessa. All that's known is that it's somewhere here in the Kimmy Gucci forest. What I didn't know was that there were two other people listening in on that very same story. It was Rex DeForest III and his dim-witted henchman, Chester. Oh, did you hear that, boss? A drinking fountain that turns you into a kid again. Forget it. I didn't find this super sophisticated listening device just to eavesdrop on some stupid legend. So, uh, why did you buy it? So I could steal camp candy away from that soft-hearted head counselor. Oh, boy! We're gonna hold the summer camp. Yahoo! discovered the long-lost fountain of youth. Gee, I feel weird. I gotta talk to the boss about this new jacket he bought me. Look how it shrunk. Chester, where in places are you? Uh, over here, boss. Hey, kid, have you seen a big coon in a leather jacket? Uh, that's me, boss. Look, kid, I don't have time for jokes. And stop calling me boss. No joke, boss. It's me, Chester. I fell into this well, and something weird happened. The fountain of youth? What hogwash? <laughs> Then it's true. This really is a fountain of youth. Chester, my boy, and I do mean boy, this has given me a tremendous idea. Hey, what happened? Rex DeForest had come up with another of his underhanded schemes. Now remember, you're to cause so much trouble that they'll have to shut down the entire camp. Don't worry, boss. Piece of cake. I've been working on Camp Candy all live long day. I've been working on Camp Candy just to pass the time. Oh, oh mister, I didn't see you on account of all the tears in my eyes. Tears? Yeah. My family couldn't afford to feed me, so they left me in the woods. What? Why, that's the worst thing I've ever heard. Aw, oh, don't be too rough on them, mister. They've just got too many mouths to feed. Well, we're gonna feed you, fella, and right now. I asked the other campers to look after our little guest while I began a search for his parents. Goodness, when did you eat last? I don't know, what, what the month is this? Hey, what's your name, fella? Uh, 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 my folks were so poor, they couldn't afford to give me one. You poor thing. I think we should call you Lucky. Yeah, I sure am. And before I'm through, you guys are going to be real unlucky. 
The next morning, I let Lucky sleep late, while the rest of the campers enjoyed a delicious camp candy breakfast. Where were you? Me? Oh, uh, <laughs> I was uh, grabbing a few extra winks, too. That's when Lucky decided to put his plan into action, using Robin's collection of pets and Rick's boombox. Uh, let me check these instructions the boss gave me. Make a mess of the mess hall. Me for this one. Oh, fire! Don't worry, Vanessa. I'll save you. Get her. This is fun. As soon as I heard the commotion, I rushed in to investigate. But I didn't have to because it rushed out to meet me. Oh, goodness me! Why, whatever happened here? You ought to know. You're the one who caused it. Chill out, Vanessa. Can't you see he's scared and mixed up? Who wouldn't be? The poor kid comes from a broken home. And he's probably the one who broke it. <gasps> Don't mind, Vanessa Lucky. Too many perms have curled their brain cells. You mean you're not going to yell at me like my boss? Oh, I mean, I mean, my parents always do? But why should we do that? You've had a hard enough life as it is. Gosh! You like me. You really like me. What did I miss? Did someone just win an Academy Award? We weren't having a lot of luck locating Lucky's parents. If we didn't find them soon, I'd have to call in the authorities. Meanwhile, we all pitched in to repair the mess hall damage. I'm going to check on how the search is going. Meanwhile, uh, you're not to touch any of the power tools. You understand? Yes, John. <gasps> oh, wow. Check out this power saw. You better not touch that, Lucky. You heard, John. Only grown-ups are allowed to handle the power tools. But I am a grown-up. You are? Uh, I mean, I will be uh, in 12 more years. Meanwhile, I'd just gotten off the phone trying to track down Lucky's parents when I suddenly saw the saw. And it was heading straight for me. John, are you all right? I, I think so. That was a close shave. Even uh, closer than I thought. Boy, summer camp is really neat. I never knew you could have so much fun playing in dirt. That's what being a kid is all about. So, there you are. How dare you enjoy yourself on my time? It's Rex the Forest. The third? What's wrong with you? You should have destroyed this place by now. I can't go through with it. These kids are my friends. Your friends? Why, oh, you little traitor. But that big bully shoving Lucky around. I'll fix that old grouch. What? <laughs> Why, you brats! When I get my hands on you, I'm... on my friends. Did you hear that? Lucky called him boss. That's just about the time I arrived on the scene. You little ingrate. I see I'll have to teach you a lesson. Suddenly a strange thing began to happen. The effects of the fountain of youth began to wear off. It's Chester! Ow! Oof! Oh, you're crushing me! Get off! Not until you apologize to my cat candy pal. Oh, all right! I apologize! I'm sorry I called you little brats. You little brats? Uh, that's better. Oh, so long! Now get your micro brain cell back to work right this second! Oh, wow! Then that legend you told us was true! There really is a fountain of youth in these woods, and we thought you made the whole thing up! <laughs> you know what? 
So did I.